Hey everybody, welcome to the 2-Hour Track Challenge. My name is Ben underscore Burns, and today we're going to be writing a song in two hours or less. As you can see in the uh, thing up top, I had a I had a root canal last night. So uh, I'm uh, not feeling 100% today, but I'm going to do my best to get something done. Uh, and, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. I'm not not really particularly expecting a huge crowd up in stream because today is the Christmas Eve Eve. So, you know, we'll just have a quiet, intimate experience, just YouTube and me. We don't need those dirty Twitch people, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start the timer. I'm thinking about doing something a little bit more minimal and chill today, simply because I, uh, you know, had a wreck canal yesterday. Which, you know, I wouldn't recommend recreationally, but I do think that it, it will help me in the long run. Apparently, uh, I had a tooth that was fairly infected that needed to get either cleaned or removed, and I opted for the cleaned, um, although removed was much cheaper. <laughs> so, you know, maybe I'll regret that, uh, regret that uh, choice down the road. So yeah, I was thinking like something just really ambient. Mostly because it's like, it's kind of white out blizzard snowing conditions right now. No, I'm not feeling that though. Maybe we can start with an arpeggio. I, I've been starting with a lot of chords lately. <clears throat> so yeah, the other, the other thing that I have to, uh, that I have to worry about is my voice. I'm also going to just double check that I'm actually streaming because sometimes Twitch is being a butt about things. Okay. It is. And it's not, you know, if people want to lurk in chat, they can lurk in chat. I don't care. I just uh I just wanted to make sure that things were actually working. So I was thinking about maybe using wavetable, which is something that I haven't really messed with that much, but it allows you to use the user settings, I think. Yeah. So I can import my own so I'm thinking about going into my old two-hour track challenge samples and then just pulling out something weird. Buns. Buns. <laughs> I remember that. It's just, the Wavetable is such a cool granular synthesizer. I really need to use it more often. Let's go like this, set LFO one on a random. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, don't re-trigger. Yeah. Hey, what good timing. How you doing, Toxic? Cool. So let's set this to maybe like 16th notes. This might be pretty cool. Uh, I am surviving. I, uh, I had some dental surgery um, last night, less than like 24 hours ago. So I'm holding on, <laughs> I guess is probably the best way to put it. Um, but you know, I wanted to, I wanted to get something done and I wanted to, wanted to hang out with all y'all. So, you know, we'll make it work. How about this? Did I do that backwards? Yeah, I did. That's a really interesting sound. I wonder what happens when we toss a chrome uh, through that. You know, I really just need to change my template because I think Valhalla Room is getting ousted finally. I just like chrome so much, aside from how, how fun it is to say.
It's such a neat sound. Um, so I was gonna maybe throw a uh, MIDI effect arpeggiator on top of this. And that way we don't have the conflicting sounds as much. I think that that would sound rad uh, with a delay and stuff underneath it. <clears throat> Let's get echo instead of delay because it can uh, it can do some fun things. Let's keep it synced, but let's um, let's make it faster. Yeah, I haven't done like a a sound designy style thing for a while, so this is kind of new. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I, um, it's kind of whiteout conditions right now. <clears throat> so if we, uh, maybe kind of take some inspiration Hey, Dark, what's up? too much. I want to keep it at 16th. Um, maybe make it a little less harsh on the highs. Okay, let's get... A nice warm bass under this, which I'm thinking would be good with massive. How's it going, Dark? I saw that you posted your, uh, like it was a GDC talk or something that you did. I don't think it was like a recent talk that you did, but I wanted to watch that. Like you posted it on Twitter and I was like, oh, that looks neat. And then I fell asleep. <laughs> hey, Husk, how you doing? Oh, man. Yeah, you want something real, real chill. I'm thinking that we can go the triangle wave that is synced one to one. That's uh, on juice. Nah, juice is a way better word. Um, yeah, absolutely. Remember, remember to remember save. save. Hey, everybody, remember to save. some of that. <laughs> 
I feel like this could be a little more interesting. Yeah, juice and game feel is, is always a fun talk. Um, something I definitely struggle with. Uh, oh, that's way too much. Okay. I don't know why this is... So thinking with this, we can give it a little bit of an attack. I don't know if I like that bass as much as I thought I would. Thought it was going to be a little bit more kind of a Hoover bass. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of uh, like pushing this out. kind of interesting. I've never really done that before. <laughs> I think I think Apple is a very well-designed system. I just don't like their methodology for marketing it and like bringing it to the masses honestly like i just don't like the way that they purport themselves because otherwise it's good like it's it's intuitive and very user focused as long as you have a lot of money <laughs> um Man, this uh it's pretty dense so far. This bass is a little wild. Um but I like it. We could go with a like a full square square wave. Get kind of a disaster piece vibe going with this. We'll need to add some pianos, but that's okay. Um, that's not really disaster piece, but I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> um, hey, Coltez, how are you? have the same presence as everything else. It's a little too clean, I guess. Yeah, I like it too. It just doesn't really fit with the rest of this. I'm doing okay. I've got uh, got some pain meds going, which helps. Um, we'll see how uh, we'll see how it goes. Like I'm I'm totally down for making kind of a chill 
chill, uh, chill stream today. I've uh, never had a root canal before. Um, it's definitely a, a thing that happens, I guess, when, when necessary. <laughs> um, Thank you so much for the raid. Let me just add this and then we can go. How was your uh, how was your stream today? I appreciate you doing the raids every Wednesday. I guess our our like schedules line up. so much for the raid though i do appreciate it uh we just started the two-hour track challenge i guess we're 15 minutes into it i have some kind of cool cool things going on here i'm just trying to kind of make them all click together bug snacks i heard that game is unbearably cute I think we're, we have a good, uh, <laughs> I guess it does kind of have that similar vibe to it where it's just kind of this, uh, super chill, um, kind of new age, kind of contemporary piano improv. Like, I'll take it as a compliment. I love, I love the music that they used for the Sims. Thanks. What is it? Zen? Z Zen? Zen -za Zen. <laughs> I'm probably saying that wrong. Also, I apologize that I'm like super low energy today. Like uh, it says up top there, I had a root canal last night. So I'm, uh, I'm surviving. Um, I'm thinking about adding like some super chill drums. Like for the most part, it was it was an okay procedure but like the the novocaine started wearing off near the end and near the end is where all of the all of the difficult parts are <laughs> as far as the procedure is concerned so uh that got a little rough Ooh, this is actually nice what, I don't own that one? I don't own that one. No, I do. I don't even want to look to see how many credits I have now. It's pretty, probably pretty gross. Come on. There you go. Good boy. I'm assuming your kid is probably a little younger than I am. Um, but yeah, I, I'm honestly considering, you know, yeah, no. <laughs> if you flip those two numbers around, you're a little closer. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm feeling surprisingly okay considering... But yeah, like I, um, I'm doing okay. Like I woke up this morning without any pain, which is kind of wild. Um, but as the day went on, like it definitely, uh, 
definitely did not improve. Like I've, I've been taking a couple Tylenol every six hours or so. Uh, I, the, the, the drums in this really actually bring it together and I'm super glad that I found the sample. So I'm chopping it up a little bit. Because I think the chops help a lot. Yeah, that helps a lot. Okay, so um, my next goal is to grab a nice hi-hat to kind of tie the room together. Uh, when it comes to, actually, I think like an acoustic hat will sound really good here. Let me see if I can find a good one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like overall the procedure went okay. Like I said, at the end when the Novocaine started wearing off and they were like poking my nerves, that part wasn't great, but you know, then you just tell me, it's like, hey, uh, I can feel this now, so you should probably, like, give me, give me, give me more of the drugs, please. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> um, overall, it was good. Uh, yes, thankfully. And they said that it's like, oh, well, this might take multiple appointments. And, um, and I was like, oh, please, no. <laughs> Uh, but thankfully, they were able to take care of the whole procedure in one appointment. Also, hello, M. How are you? Um, but I still have to go back for like a crown fitting and then going and getting the crown installed and all that other stuff. So Okay, I actually just kind of like just running this through the whole time. Ugh. Yeah, and that's what I'm afraid of. where it's like I get this procedure and I still have pain, you know, down the line. It, it, honestly, the pain wasn't bad before. Um, I had a filling in there and then like a cavity had crept up underneath it, which I guess is fairly common. Um, but I had let it go for so long that it got into the root of the tooth, tooth the root of the tooth. Um, so it had to get, had to get worked on. Um, so I, uh, you know, it was it was either that or yanking the whole thing out. And, you know, if <clears throat> in the long run, if I'm still running into problems, I was like, oh, man, I should have just paid 10 percent as much as the procedure just to have them remove the damn thing. But hey, Twiggly, thank you so much for that. Oh, interesting. I would have, I would have imagined that it was done, like front teeth would be a little more difficult, but maybe, maybe because of the, um, like the position, it's like less difficult to deal with, I guess. Huh. Thanks for redeeming those twiggly. Yeah, mine was about 90 minutes total. drums are like way too loud specifically the kicks on this but um, that's okay 
let's, uh, I want to pull in one more thing. This is actually like a really good loop as is. Um, and I said this at the beginning, but considering the state that I'm in, I don't expect like a terribly complicated song today. Like we can get a good groove going. We can extend that groove out and then we'll be good, you know? So we'll, um, we'll work on this, but I was thinking about grabbing the, uh, Was it transients toy box? Yeah. This is kind of a winter vibe to it. I, I'm kind of going with the winter vibe today. Um. Hey, Zen Zen. You'll have to tell me how to pronounce your name. I apologize if I'm doing it a disservice. Um, thank you so much for the follow. I really do appreciate that. Um, let me toss a reverb on this jabroni real quick and I'll get you some piano. Um, I'm thinking about like a real long reverb for this one where it's like, yeah, Tycho's freaking out over there. Um, and then a pre-delay of 176 milliseconds. So thank you so much. I was messing with the chord progression. Thank you so much for the follow. I, do, I really appreciate that. Nope. Okay, so this this is actually not very noticeable, but that's okay because it's layered with the with the snare. So really, we're getting a lot of the the um, the echo or the reverb of the of the clav instead of the actual hit. And that's not a bad thing for me. I can crank it up a little bit though. have a delay on here. I don't need this one. We can get maybe some pads going here. I think that's probably the next call. Um, again, we're kind of like sonically, we're filling up this uh, this space pretty well, so I don't want to overdo it. Um, but I'm thinking that if we can get a nice uh, a nice pad in here to to kind of round things out, it should be good. But I don't really know the best way to make a pad in this case. Well, let's just start with something. You know, you start with something bad and then you make it better from there. That's the best uh the best advice I can give anybody. Start with the bad stuff and then make it better. Sure. Just 
crank up the reverb. So the, the bass line and the chord progression don't necessarily match. Or they do, but it's just really weird. Um, that should be better. But I like that better. I, I don't know why my words stopped working. Um, <clears throat> I like that better. Um, so let's just go like this. Everybody's doing well. Yeah, that's better. Um, can't believe that, like, not only December's almost over, but, like, Christmas Eve is tomorrow. That's pretty bananas. Um, it's just kind of, this year's, well, a lot of people have said this year's kind of flown by, and it's also taken forever, so... That's pretty appropriate. Um, <clears throat> so we've got a pretty cool loop. How do we turn it into a song? <laughs> I think we start with uh, with the arpeggio, because that was kind of the the impetus for the whole whole thing. So I'll just kind of shove this out a little bit, and then. Um, we can definitely have this without the hat. Yeah, like I, that's the problem. Whereas, like, it it definitely I feel like this year definitely did go by quickly. But I also know that it was just a drudge. Um, and that's it's kind of a weird. It's kind of in a weird like quantum state where depending on how you look at it is it was either a decent year or just like what is happening you know let's just go like this it's not going to be the most inspired arrangement so far but you know we can we can work off of it I do want to mess with the uh, with all of this stuff too. So let's see. We can go like this. Bring this down. I'm kind of. I'm trying to think of like the name I want to have for this song. Um, like whiteout conditions or something is definitely on my mind. Considering that's what we've got going on outside right now, but. I'm not fully sure, you know? All that kind of will make itself a little bit more apparent as we move forward here.
Yeah. I don't know, driving... How about driving snow? Which is a term for those snow people. I think driving snow is a little bit more descriptive. Sorry, I'm just checking emails, just make sure. Because driving snow. How to drive in snow, no. Definition, snow or rain that falls very fast. Actually, yeah, driving snow is actually pretty good. I think, I think I'm going to go with that. I appreciate the, the input on that toxic. <laughs> I don't know if my brain can keep up with uh, that level. 2020, 12, 23. This is the second last, because we have one more two-hour track challenge on the 30th, yeah. I do, it, by the way, plan on streaming pretty much every day while I'm on break. Um, I've got... <laughs> I've got a, I've got a lot of things that I want to take care of. They send you trash. It's not the end. Oh, it is the end of the season. No, it's not the end of the season. Season 14 is kind of a weird one. Yeah, because I took November off, um, season 14 is basically going to span f until uh, the end of March, until April. Um, so it's probably going to have more songs in it than usual. Um, I'm still going to do autoplagiarism uh, kind of in the start of the year. So it's, it's, it's essentially I'm kind of like, instead of taking... January through March off. I took November off and I'm going to take a smattering of days off in, in the January through March area so I can work on auto plagiarism. So there's still streams on all those days, but it's just kind of like it's a little all over the place. Another thing I can do is if I wanted to get if I wanted to get wild, I can take this. Remember to save. Do I work much in session view? I uh, do not, unfortunately. Like, this is something that I want to learn better. I want to start doing live sets. And I've done some live sets in the past, but um, not really anything substantial. Um, so that's, that's definitely something I want to get into. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's kind of I feel like I'm definitely missing out on like literally half of what Ableton does. Um so it's it's on my list. I want to do like live Ableton sessions um next year where I can find a good way to set things up where I am able to like uh I was going to say crap out ideas, which is kind of not great. But you know what I mean, where it's just kind of getting things out there as as quickly as you can. Um, I've been watching like, um, thank you, Crank. Um, 
um, I've been watching Beardy Man. Uh, clearly, Beardy Man has like a crazy setup that I can't really replicate because I don't have six iPads. But um, like Beardy Man and Mark Ribier and like all of these other just incredible composers who can just sit down and make a five minute long song in five minutes. And that's like, I think that's one of my goals for 2021 where I can like just uh, generate ideas, Im improv ideas like that. And I think that's that's really important for me. I want to keep doing that. Hey, friends. Thanks, Kevin Subtle. I hope you have a good holiday, too. snare the snare needs to be truncated like super hard that's uh, a little too much yeah yeah i mean that's the nice thing where you can actually like set up loops and you can set everything up and i mean it's only going to get power more powerful in ableton 11 which is going to be nice um <clears throat> So there's there's going to be a lot of really cool things. I'm I'm debating with myself and my budget on whether I should build a new computer for Ableton 11 because I realize this computer is like six years old. I was looking through some of my old pictures, um, like my old studio pictures. That's not it. Yeah, this was like right after we got this area recarpeted. This was the studio. I'm sitting over here now. Um, but this was an old computer. And then that's the, also the old computer. So 2016, yeah, so this is the new computer. I built the computer I'm using now in 2016. Um, I haven't taken a studio picture lately. This is 2018. Um, a big fucking mess over here. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like this anymore. I do miss the L desk shape. I do have the desk still there. It's right over there. Um, but yeah, I also was looking at these pictures and I saw a girl and I got sad. I miss her. But, yeah. I realize this computer is, like, fairly old. Which is good that it's still, like, keeping up with everything. But it's starting to chug down a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. I miss Gardner too. Like I still talk to Gardner once in a while and I'm just like, dude, I want to hang out with you. But you know, obviously, um, situations won't really allow that. Um, at least not for a while still. Um, I think I mean as long as you can get your get your work done like that's that's all that matters um, what was I gonna do here is like don't boom something like that I think I 
I like I like the automation that I put on here that gives that little sparkle at the end of the eight bar loop. Um, yeah. So we need to think of a B section for this. Like we've got a really, really nice jam going on here. I also think that we could get away with another lead. Um, I mean, I'm always down for a theremin lead, even though I've used it literally in the last like three songs that I've done for the two hour track challenge, but you just can't say no to the wobbly signs. You just can't say no. It's just too good. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, the delay was a little much. A physical theremin? That would be pretty cool. Um, I really want to invest more in a lot. I want to invest a lot more in hardware instruments. I just don't have space for them. That's kind of the big problem that I have right now. I mean, that works pretty well. We just toss that right there. We can loop this jabroni out. I don't know why I'm saying jabroni so much, but I guess it's just uh, my method of coping. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, so we've got this. Which other since you can check out. I mean, what I'd like to do and what I plan on doing next year is building my own uh, synths and stuff. Like I've I've been doing more soldering. I've been doing more research into how to like build electronics, small electronics, and that's really one of the focuses that I want to um, that I want to focus on next year is this uh, this idea of being able to make your own stuff. And I don't believe a theremin is terribly complicated. Um, because <clears throat> it's just a, it's a, it just like I believe it's like an electro not electromagnet but it's like an electric st static sensor or something um, so there's a there's a lot of opportunities there Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I want to. It's like the death knell for my uh, for my finances, but I want to dip my toes into like uh, Euro rack stuff, and like that goes with the whole live playing stuff, um, where I want to be more proactive. A <laughs> fart synthesizer, nice. Um, I want to be more proactive. I want to be more hands on with the music stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say, it didn't look didn't look mum no computer do a fart synthesizer thing recently. I just have to look outside for inspiration. Holy shit, it's windy. It's like really windy, like forty or fifty mile an hour winds. If I um go offline, we lost power. <laughs> But they do. <laughs> yeah. 
Media. Get reset, huh? Yeah, I was just thinking, like, I, I need to do some kind of breakdown or something right here. So I think, like, a heavy wind or something along that line is actually a really, really good idea. I don't know. I don't know if I'd be able to record outside. Just a second, let me try. We'll see if we can get something. It is definitely windy out. Can we hear that? I'm not sure if we can hear that. Hi, Tycho. Thanks for... Oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to close that now. It's cold. <laughs> um, we'll see if we got anything here. The problem is, is that uh, my computer's like right next to the microphone, so... Yeah, it is mostly just... Uh, Um, well, we can go over here. <phone rings> nah, I don't know if this is going to work. We don't care about BPM range. Foghorn, yes. <laughs> That's just somebody going with a water drop. Come on, guys, you can do better. I have a wind noodle. I do. I don't know if I want to use that, though, because it'll wake up everybody in the house. Oh, perfect. This might work too. Remember to save. Hey everybody, remember to save. Oh yeah, this might work. I'll check yours as well. Joop. Nope, sorry. I try not to accidentally share people's DMs with me. Um, accidentally open this to get out of here. The squeaky trees is nice, but I kind of want just the... I kind of want just the whooshy sound. I do like the sample, though. I'm definitely going to keep this. Uh, I do. I really do appreciate that. That's a that's a great idea. But I I kind of want to keep the uh, 
I don't want the squeaky sounds. Um, at least not for this. Like if I'm making a like a Halloween track or something, which I'll which I'll definitely do at some point, probably closer to Halloween. But you know. I think that uh, that will be perfect for it. But in the meantime, uh, why do I have, okay, here we go. <clears throat> I also think that the, uh, the clap's a little loud for this part, eh? Um, I did kind of do that on purpose, but not... Let's just clean all this up. Ever since I had to get my my tooth surgery, my root canal. I don't know if it's considered surgery or not, um, but ever since like that, I've been really really wanting fried food, and it sucks because it's probably something I shouldn't be having right now. down stuff and everything else like I haven't really had a whole lot of fried food I just suddenly got a craving for it the other day and it's like oh man that sounds really good it's like I've had McDonald's which admittedly is not great food but I've had McDonald's like twice in the past year and usually it's more around four or five times it's like, oh man, I miss junk food. band dynamics on it to bring up the mids and the highs. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so that's kind of a nice a nice break. Anyway, this is all donked up anyway. Um, happy Blizzard Day. Hello, Mimi. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I'm glad I did all my shopping already. Thankfully, I did all my shopping for pies already, so I'm mostly just uh, hunkering down and hoping that everybody's safe. Because <clears throat> uh, it's uh, spooky out there right now. It's really interesting how adding gaps or breaths to the melodies actually changed the context of it. I don't know if I said goodbye, Toxic, but goodbye, Toxic. Thank you for hanging out. Um, so adding a couple of those is pretty neat. Yeah, 
Yeah, I hope you're uh, staying safe, baby. This is missing. The classic slidey slide. Way better. I don't know. Kind of good with this just being the way it is. Like I said, I, I know this is a bit of a a shorter one today, but I'm not at 100% mentally or physically. Hey, Valiant Cheese, how are you? Um, yeah, yeah, I, uh, as you can probably see up top, I, uh, I had a, a root canal yesterday, which... More or less, I'm not in pain, but I also don't want to push it. <laughs> and really, this song's three and a half minutes long, which is about average for the two-hour track challenge. Um, but yeah, let's let's run through it once or twice, and we can add add some fun stuff to it. Remember to save. Let the root canal inspire your music. Yeah, there you go. I like that. Hey, everybody, remember to save. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Dark. Thank you. Bit me, bit of me. I appreciate it.
one thought than going like this. Sorry for stopping it, but I don't know if this is going to be good or not. Nope. Can't really tell. But it helps break things up. It's, uh, it's actually gusts of wind, but it does sound a lot like wave crashes too, you're right. That's the spirit. change that uh, attack because it gets a little obnoxious. Where did it start at? Uh, 77 milliseconds. Let's just go like this. Zoop. Hey, Madam Barry, how are you? A shorter stream today. Um, sorry, you're actually just catching the tail end of it. But that's okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Especially where I am mentally, I think that uh, I think that today kind of came together. Right, Madam Barry? Like I have, I have like my vacation started today and it's like, well, I still have to make the pack for January. I still have to make pies tomorrow. I have to make all these music videos for YouTube. I still have to finish the Maker's Eden. It's like, I have so many things to do on my break. I'm just like, uh, so I'm, I'm hoping to stream a lot over the next week or so. And like, if I can stream for three hours every day, I should be able to finish all of this stuff. And I could also like take actually relaxing time after that and just kind of hang out and, and like learn how to relax again because I don't know how to do that. Um, Yeah, I actually, um, I actually did really well earlier this year at le le learning how to chill out. Um, but then it all kind of fell apart uh, in like August, um, due to a lot of reasons. Uh, most notably, uh, my grandparents passing, which is sucks, obviously. Um, but like, that's also when I had my falling out with the squirrels um where they had like a big fight well not a big fight but like i actually got like injured from hanging out with them and it's just like oh man 
I, I, I was kind of surprised at how much of my, maybe not mental health, but my, uh, my calm came from hanging out with the squirrels for like 20 minutes a day and feeding them. And, uh, like when I lost that, I, it's like, I lost, I lost a, a good friend. Like we, a friend and I had a fight. Um, and we, we like, don't talk anymore, but unfortunately they lived in a tree in my backyard. So I saw them all the time. I'm like, I wish we could hang out. So it's kind of, it's kind of where I was at with that. It, it actually really affected me mentally, like more than I thought that it would. Um, yeah. And it's not that the squirrels like hated me. It's just that it's, it had started getting colder in like August and September and like their foraging instincts kicked in. So they were like way more aggressive when I was feeding them. And, uh, I just, I made the wrong move and they took it as like aggression and like they took a big old gouge out of my finger, which has healed, but it's scarred over. Um, so I'll probably be dumb. I'll probably feed them again next year and try to hang out. But it's just like, it kind of broke my heart. It sucked. Um, anyway, I think this song is, uh, done. We'll listen to it again. See if we can make any other changes along the way. Like, I like the idea of doing little micro transitions throughout this, but honestly, I don't know if it needs them. They're super cute. I mean, I had one that was comfortable enough with me so I, that I could pet him. And it was just like, it was like the best thing in the world for some reason for me. Or so like I hung out with him and granted, like all he wanted was peanuts. Um, but it's just like being able to hang out and interface with nature like that was pretty interesting. Interact is probably a more human term to use. simple song today, but I'm okay with it. Fix that chord. Mm 
thought I was doing something here. I must have gotten distracted. the resolution more cool so yeah i think uh i think we're good i i also think that i've talked enough for today um i am definitely starting to feel a little bit more soreness in my face so i think i'm gonna get going guys thank you so much for hanging out today i really genuinely do appreciate it i know that i've been uh a little more en low energy than usual but hopefully on um Saturday when I start doing some streams I do plan on streaming as as often as I can um I, I should hopefully be recovered by then and I can actually kind of just crank out crank out some good stuff so yeah um I have some music production to do and I have a lot of video editing to do so like all of these are unreleased or albums that I never really posted on YouTube um, so I have to kind of make a video comp for them and then just export all of the tracks. Um, and then I have to finish the Maker's Eden. Like this is, this is absolutely what I have to do. I have to finish the Maker's Eden over the next couple of weeks because I really want that off my plate. I want to stop thinking about it. So those are really the two main tasks. And then I have a lot of smaller things that I want to do, like the, the Kalimba um, contact Kalimba pack is something that I want to do. So there's a lot of things that I want to work on and I want to work on them with you because it's fun hanging out with you guys and I really appreciate it. So yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you guys again for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and that you stay safe over the next couple days. Um, yeah, love you all. Take care. Bye. <laughs>